Looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Coin Bank, guys. You seriously cannot beat that value. I promise. Use code Poodle for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we have a few updates, some news, some things to go over. So definitely stay tuned throughout the video for all that. You guys can see here the pretty cool free agency screen is up. But first and foremost, guys, if you guys are new to the channel, before we get into the video, guys, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Always give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know what's going on. Let me know for free agency, guys. Who was the biggest free agency? Like, what was the biggest free agent you used to yesterday? You know, was it Jonah Smith to New England? Was it, you know, yeah, A to B? Was it C to D? You know, let me know down below. I want to see what you guys thought about the first day of free agency. Well, not first day of free agency, sorry. The first day of, like, New Year's, right? Anyways... So open up our good morning mana pack, see if we can get anything out of this. And if you guys do need coins for anything, head over to Muck Coin Bank down below and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 5% off your order. Will we ever get another lead out of these? Um, I'll never know, right? I mean, I try my hardest. And it's a pretty cool uh, little update screen we have going on behind there. But anyways, guys, so first update that we do have for tomorrow, guys, we are getting new power-ups, which is exciting. Because remember what I said earlier in the year? We got that first power-up, remember? Here we go again. You guys, we got that first power-up earlier in the year. Uh, the first power wildcard ones then we were like everyone was so excited we're like oh cool like finally this year they're gonna make a way for us to be able to consistently keep getting power-ups throughout the year so like you remember last year a player if they didn't have a power-up they were pretty much screwed right like that was it they didn't have a power-up we just eh, whatever uh he's not he's not gonna get a power most of the year right the odds of him getting one are low same thing early in the year but then when they introduced power-ups on wildcard wednesday we were super hyped because like there you go whenever like let's say chase claypool came out team of the week there's gonna be a wildcard wednesday giving him a power-up or at least you know throw one in every other wildcard wednesday they didn't do it then for like what felt like weeks, maybe months on end without another power up wildcard Wednesday. Now this time they're doing it like one week and then it was like a week or two break and then another one. So that's what they need to be doing because giving us that frequency of power ups will allow us to use some of our favorite players to their fullest extent. Some guys that still need one, like I said, Chase Claypool is in need of a power up. I don't know why he has not gotten one yet. Like I said, uh, he didn't get one in the last wildcard Wednesday. Now it said from a specific promo and didn't name which one. Now we did the campus heroes already, so I'm hoping this is now the all rookie promo. Uh, the all-rookie promo is definitely missing a few power-ups here. So, for instance, Makai Becton doesn't have a power-up. Um, Patrick Queen doesn't have a power-up. Raquan Davis doesn't have a power-up. And then, like I said, the, my, 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 the most important one to me is Chase Claypool. If Chase Claypool gets a power-up, he might be the best wide receiver in Madden 21, right? If he gets a power-up, guys, he will get 99 speed, 99 jumping, 99 catch and traffic, 99 spec catch, 99 catching, 99 short route running, 99 medium route running, 97 deep route running, and he will get... Um, decent agility, you know, 86, nothing too great there. He will get, let's see, let's see, a 94 carrying, 80 plus trucking, 82 change of direction, uh, 89 juke, which will then be a 90 juke. He will get, you know, 99 spec. He'll get above 90 break tackle. This car will be an absolute beast. Oh, and he's six foot four, right? And he'll get better abilities more than likely, you know, potentially depending on what, you know, what threshold he may hit there on out. Maybe not. But either way, Chase Claypool is going to be an absolute stud if he does get a power-up. So I'm really hoping that Chase Claypool does end up getting a power-up out of this. And then, of course, for the, some of the free ones that we got, like the, you know, the 96s, like, it would be nice for 96 overall players like Jeremy Chin can get up one. You know, not, not 96, sorry, the other master. Jeremy Chin, again, will be one of the best strong safeties if he gets a power-up. With a power-up, guys, he can get up to 98 speed. He'll be 98 speed, 6 foot through with 99 excel, plus 90 tackling now. He will have um, 99 men, of course, still not 99 zone, but he will have 98 hit, uh, hit power. He'll have above 80 catching, right? A uh, good change of direction at 92. This card overall would just be a complete stud if he can just get himself that power up. Now, a few other guys, like I said, the lower 96s. And then, of course, we take it down to the 95s. There were some guys here, too, that you could have taken for free, like Cameron Dantzler. Some of these guys will only be good if they get the power up, right? So, CD Lamb, without the power up, he's only in 94 speed. You give him a power up, he can get up to 97, right? Obviously, he can get up to 96 already, but what I'm saying is he can get up to 97, which is almost there for what you think you need. Now, maybe not for everyone, but for at least a theme team, you know, this could help a lot of people. Uh, DeAndre Swift would be a lot better. Mikel Walker, Cameron Nance, like I said. These are just awesome players that I think could use a power-up. And again, it doesn't have to just be them, guys. You know, we have other promos, too, that could use some power-ups. It's not just that specific one. That's not the only one that we've been dealing with. But as we come on, check like check out on here, too, like, there's going to be a few guys overall. If you do catch them, you'll, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll know. You'll know when you know. Leonard Williams could use one as well. Um, let's see who else. Scroll on down, scroll on down. Josh Allen, uh, CJ Ham, like you know, oh, like maybe it could be the all rookie promo. That'd be pretty cool as well. TJ Hawkinson. There's a ton of players that are missing power ups. That again, these are top cards, but without their power ups, uh, Alex Smith, Chase Young, Justin Herbert. Again, like half the NFL honors right there. But that's better for that. So that the power ups are coming tomorrow. 
there'll probably be some reveal later tonight around like you know 7 8 p.m like or they'll probably tweet it out or maybe do a yeah probably tweet it out on a you know ea sports whatever the count is i wish the exact handle is but they'll probably tweet it out on there and they'll show you guys uh you know a leak of some of the power maybe not at all but exciting check that out tonight, uh, later tonight now second guys on the list we do have a ea stream change so originally it was tuesday wednesday thursday they just announced that it will be going to just wednesday and thursday now unless there's some big promo pretty much guys that's it we're getting to that point where they they know we know like they know that you know like, think about it right they do tuesday wednesday thursday and what do they do it's called updates and giveaways you hop on you realize there's nothing and you hop off right so it's probably getting it's probably getting embarrassing for him you know Kralo to sit on there and know that there's nothing to give us so he already it's okay, we're pushing it back to wednesday thursday that's it maybe they'll have enough info to make two days out of it so that's kind of that now what well, we're still getting promos right so i mean at least you know that we're getting good stuff i guess it's just not enough daily stuff anymore like there once was as well as guys, so it will be Wednesday, Thursday, unless like he said, if there's a big Friday promo, he'll, he'll give us a Friday, you know, and so on and so forth. But guys, moving on from that as well, guys, we do have a few more things I want to get over. So Kralo did mention on stream about people have been asking about whether or not we were going to get a career tribute, Drew Brees. Now, yes, Drew Brees did just retire, you know, congrats to Drew Brees. Retiring is not a sad thing, right? You know, he had a great career. The Chargers, you know, started off there and then some injury concerns that let him go and he ended up turning into a Hall of Fame quarterback, right? Could he have stayed there? Maybe have done it? Maybe. But New Orleans worked out for him. He brought him a Super Bowl, uh, you know, post Katrina and everything. So definitely was, you know, a great career. Super excited for him. You know, he has young kids, you know, older. Why, why, why keep getting hurt and why keep testing something that maybe he's done with? We can go enjoy his life with his family, right? But point is, Kralo did mention that there's a, uh, you know, as of now, there's no word of a career tribute breeze, but he did say check the EA Twitter again. So I think there's still a chance we can get a career tribute breeze. Now, what a, a career tribute breeze would be pretty good. Um, he'd be, of course, a 99 overall. I think I think it'll be 98 or 99. There's no doubt in my mind. They're not giving him a 97, right? Rivers had a 97. He's gonna get easily a 98 or 99. So his last card was a 93, guys. He didn't get many cards this year. I mean, he was hurt for a portion of it. This next Drew Brees card would have a 97 throw power, in my opinion. Uh, he'll have all above 90, probably 97 pass accuracy. Besides deep, which would be like a 95. His throw on the run would be like a 90. Again, powered up and camped up would be one of the best. And he's a field general, guys. He'll be one of the best passing quarterbacks in the game. He'll probably end up with like a 74 speed, you know, with sprint and everything which isn't horrible for a Drew Brees card. Not going to be a great card, but going to be like, not going to be, you know, a meta, you know, mobile thrown quarterback, but he will get the job done. He will still be pretty good. Nonetheless, that's career tribute Brees. We have power ups, stream schedule changing. And that pretty much does wrap up most of the video guys. There's not much more to go over beyond that. Like again, Brees will be exciting. A career tribute, a career tribute Brees will be cool. It'll be an LTD, of course, being packed, you know, two days, give or take the usual. And then, of course, if you pull him, you could probably sell him for a decent amount of coins. I don't know how much he'll really go for, though, because kind of similar to Brady. You know, Brady was more of a crazier LTD, you know, kind of like MVP, so it costs more. But this card would just be a card that's just not, it's not tied to anything, right? Like I said, it's just, it's just the Breeze card. So that's what it for today's video, guys. If you guys haven't already, go check out my second video that you will see coming out later today as well. Again, guys, I'm excited for the power ups tomorrow. I want to see. Hopefully, they give it to Claypool. Claypool is a super great card. And again, this whole theme team too, because the all rookie teams, you know, all rookie players are probably going to be great. And if you're a theme team, you want the rookie from your team, right? If it's a cowboy or a Viking, like that's exciting because that was your real life rookie that you actually want to see. So I think that'd be definitely cool. But if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. If you guys haven't, like I said, liking and commenting always help, guys. Comment down below who was the biggest um, free agency news from yesterday. And like I said, Jonu Smith, Hunter Henry today. Um, you know, Aaron Jones being resigned two days ago. Was it, I don't know if it was yesterday. You know, like, let me know what was what's the biggest offseason news for you guys so far? Was it the Bucks keeping the gang together? Let me know. But yeah, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Um, if you guys need coins, head over to Muck Coin Bank down below and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional five percent off. Yeah, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Check out my other video. I'm out. Peace.